Boyle's law tells us that if you have a gas that you apply pressure on, you apply force on it, then its volume will decrease. That's the idea. And if you allow it to expand, agar aap uski volume ko increase karte ho, its pressure will decrease. So pressure is inversely related to volume. That's how we read it. Pressure is inversely related to volume. Inverse means opposite relation. How do I know opposite relation? It's very easy. In math, if things are on the same level, then they have direct relation, which means if this increases, this increases, if they were on the same level. But if things are on opposite levels, this is on a higher level, this is on a lower level, fractions, mein, this is the numerator side, this is the denominator side. If they are like that, if the relation is diagonal, if the relation is on opposite levels, then their relation is inverse. So here you can see that pressure and volume, they're inversely related. If I increase pressure, volume decreases. And if I increase volume, pressure decreases. So for that, we first have to understand what exactly is pressure. So pressure is the force. Pressure is force over area, which means the force of how something pushes against something against career. The force is applied on walls of container. Mainly, if there is gas, I have added a cylinder in it, then the gas is going to push that cylinder. And that force that comes from the gas pushing on the cylinder, it's that force or cylinder ka jo area hoga, jo uski walls ka area hoga, matlab agar, let's suppose ye ek space hai. So, is mein agar ek gas hai, jo is side pe push kar rahi hai, to ye force hai, jo is pe lag rahi hai, aur ye pura area hai, which is experiencing that force. So, this force per area is called pressure. And in gases, the force is applied, obviously on the gas itself, okay, and on walls. So, walls of container and gas itself. And area is the surface area of that thing. So basically we are saying that if you increase the area, what does that mean? That means if you have a small space hai, and you have a larger space, in both of these you can see that area has increased. So now the force that was on it will be distributed on this So instead of being applied on just a small area, it's being applied on a large area, which means pressure is less. In other words, if you have a bigger container, obviously that has high volume, so pressure will decrease. And if you have a smaller container, then you're taking all that gas, you're compressing it in a small volume. So the area is also less, which means force will be high and pressure will be high. Do you understand this? So the basic idea of Boyle's law is simple. Pressure and volume are inversely related. If one increases, the other decreases. That's the first behavior that gases show.